Hello everyone! It's June 2021. I haven't updated my channel in a while and I wanted to post this update and tell you all a little bit about what's going on in my life and with this channel. Um, so if you're new here, my name is Taylor Alexander. I'm a robotics engineer, uh, occasional writer, and I'm very concerned with the intersection of uh, robotics, technology, and human society and what it means for all of us um, to develop technology and do engineering. Uh, I've been very concerned with things like uh, the abuse of foreign countries uh, by, for example, the United States, where I live, um, for our own gain. We've created a system where uh, we win by making sure that others lose, and it does not need to be that way. I. I feel as though to properly express a lot of these sentiments, I would need to spend a lot more time reading and writing. And unfortunately, I'm not in a place in my life where I can do that. I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been up to uh, instead of that, but I wanted to, yeah, just, just talk a little bit about it. You know, this is unscripted, so I apologize if it's a little freeform. Uh, well, it is freeform. Um, a, a couple of updates first. Um, I've started using they, them pronouns. So if you're talking about me online, uh, I'd prefer that you use they, them. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I've got a new project in the works. I designed these headphones. Um, they have a titanium, a couple of titanium headbands, uh, three millimeter titanium rods, or two, two rods at $9 a piece, so not a big deal there. Um, they use a, a Bluetooth to 3.5 millimeter adapter to make them Bluetooth. and. They're super comfy and I love them. This is the fourth pair of headphones I designed. I've already recorded and mostly edited a tutorial on how to manufacture the previous version. Um, uh, but I've been up to a lot, so I haven't finished that video. I, I do think uh, in the next several months, I hope I'll finish it and post the full tutorial on how to design these. Uh, the previous versions uh, are already totally open source and they're on GitHub, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to get started building your own headphones. You don't need the tutorial video to do it. They're 3D printed on an Elegoo Mars SLA liquid resin printer. Um, and they're really great. Uh, the previous pairs have been my daily drivers for weeks now after my uh, pair of Amazon headphones finally broke after a few years. Um, I got really sick of things breaking that I couldn't fix, so now if these break, just print new parts. Um, so that's the headphones. Check, check out, uh, you know, subscribe to this channel if you're not, and, and in the future I think I'll have a tutorial on it, or check the description for the GitHub link. Um, and then a really big announcement, uh, I'll probably talk more about this a lot on this channel uh, to the extent that I do make updates, but uh, the thing that I've been spending the last two and a half years on uh, is my, uh, my job that I started two and a half years ago at a farm. I've developed a solar-powered farming robot, which we've completely open-sourced. Um, you can go to community.twistedfields.com to learn about that, and I've also got a video link in the description, which is an overview of the technical systems of that robot. Um, so that's a separate channel that I've also been filming videos for, uh, so please check that out. And I will talk more about Acorn on this channel as well in the future. Um, okay, so those are all the updates, but the thing that I really have wanted to talk about is... For a long time, I've been trying to figure out what, what is my place in the world and what, is the, what are we doing with engineering. I've been learning about what we do to foreign countries, the way that we, the United States and, and Europe, uh, the, the powerful countries will exert pressure um, through political pressure, uh, financial pressure, um, and sometimes deadly force to make sure that there's places in the world where we can manufacture things cheaply. And there are people, I mean human beings, that are caught up in all of this. Um, hundreds of millions, billions of people which, which are living in countries which have been somehow made subservient to us. To me, it's grotesque. Um, I'll, I'll throw a few links in the, in the, the video description about uh, you know, labor rights for garment manufacturers in Bangladesh. Uh, these are things that we don't talk about here in the United States, and it's only been in the last 10 years that I've started to learn about it. I grew up my whole life in America and California, blissfully unaware of the extreme privilege that I have. And I, we, we gotta address this stuff. We gotta talk about it. We gotta 
stop doing it. I, I've learned that it's not necessary. Um, and even at home, we have poverty in America. We have deaths of despair, people getting addicted to painkillers because their factory jobs have left. They, they, we have serious problems in America and, and, and we export those problems to other countries when we believe that the American way is the best way. Um, America's a fine country, but we, we have problems. Uh, and, and sometimes people get really defensive if you say that we have some problems. Um, but I would just, you know, if, if that's a problem for you, I would encourage you to look up the statistics that we have on education and home ownership and um, uh, food insecurity. Um, I, like I said, this is kind of an off-the-cuff video and it's difficult for me to spend a lot of time doing research. I, I, I do my research is I have these, I put on my headphones at work and I listen to lectures by people all the time, but it's difficult for me to take notes and turn that into writing, uh, something I'd really like to do more in the future. But there's this thing that I, I want to tell y'all about, and I, I've, I've thought about making a video on it. I've, I've written scripts before. Uh, over the last year and a half, I've written a couple of scripts that I, I even filmed one. Um, uh, I had equipment problems with that one. I've got a better camera now, you can see. Um, been very happy with that. Um, and I, I'd like to produce more. So the reason why I'm doing this kind of off-the-cuff video is just to get something out there that's not a whole lot of editing. I mean, this headphone video, I filmed myself for 30 minutes assembling it, and then you cut it into these like two-second segments so that it runs a little faster, and wow, <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, so I'm, you know, trying to, you know, develop this farming robot, uh, keep it open source. So I'm also working really hard to develop a, an open source plan for that. And it's keeping me real busy. Um, but, okay, so this thing I want to tell you about, it's called the Golden Temple. It's in the Punjab region of India. And I'll put a link in the video description um, for the Golden Temple. And it's a, it's a Sikh temple. And one of the, I'm sorry, I don't know a lot about Sikhism, except that uh, I, I learned that there was a, an important individual, I don't know if, if he would be called a prophet or, um, I apologize, but th th there's an important person in, in Sikh history that said, we should feed everyone. Uh, and, and India has had a caste system in history, and the Sikhs said, it doesn't matter what caste this person is in, this was a caste or a rigid social hierarchy, um, and they said, feed everyone. Everyone will eat at the same table. Um, and at the Golden Temple, they feed 50,000 meals a day. They have huge steel pots. With, you know, they cook firewood. They use that to, to cook the pots. Um, some of them use solar thermal heating because uh, there's a, several of these facilities around India. Um, but they feed 50,000, they serve 50,000 free meals a day to people. And I'm... I'm here in the you know, San Francisco Bay Area, and uh, there are a lot of groups out here that are serving fresh meals to people, um, and it's fantastic. It's inspiring. It's called Mutual Aid, um, and uh, people helping people, and I think that's, to me, that's really the way that we should be doing things, um, more so than we are now, and so I, I think you know, the, the people doing mutual aid work are, you know, blessed people working, I mean, doing truly good work. But it's, it, and I, I, at this point in my life, I haven't spent time doing that. So that's something I want to learn more about and go and do that. There's some things I might go to over in Oakland that, that would help me get experience with that. But I think I envision a system where every city has free meals being served uh, either from one central location like the Golden Temple or we've arranged the system so that every restaurant has a free option or something like that. Um, and this is not the one solution to solve all problems. It's, it's, it's just, it's one piece of a bigger puzzle that I, I think, I love this idea that every person is eating at the same table. 
I would love it if the place that I go and get, I'm, I identify as a very privileged person. Um, always have been. It seems like everything just was handed to me. I, um, it, it doesn't make sense that I have a roof over my head and, and I've always been so secure. And I didn't try hard in school. Um, I, you know, some people would call me smart, but I didn't do anything to, I just kind of am the way I am and I really like technology and robotics. Um, but I, I used to want to get really rich and have a big house. Um, I grew up watching a lot of television and I, I think that's a big part of where I got it from. Um, although I've noticed some of my family members uh, think I should get rich too. So I, I... Uh, sorry, the battery died on the camera um, I, and I set my headphones down. Um, but uh, I have a lot of privilege and I could have just gone up the ladder and, and gotten a big house and a big car. That's what I always wanted when I was young. But it's, I, it bothers me a lot that our culture says that we should just get more for ourselves. And I see that that seems to be the root of our exploitation of others. Um, I don't want to exploit other people. I don't want to destroy nature. Um, I'm using a very nice camera and it's got all kinds of things in it which have to be mined and manufactured and that takes resources. And I'm not against the use of resources in order to further our aims, but I think that there's a certain consideration that we've not been doing. And I really, I know there are people out there that want to find a better way. Many people already know better ways and I could be learning from them. Um, I was raised a pretty isolated life in California and <clears throat> learned a lot from television that I'm now trying to unlearn. But I look at this example of the Golden Temple in India, the Sikh temple, and they, f they feed everyone that comes by. Uh, they even do some delivery meals. Um, and, and, and they have pools out front. And people can bathe in those pools. So I think about what it would be like if we had this in Oakland. Again, there are already fantastic mutual aid groups that I have not worked with and I want to go and, and learn more about that. Um, and spend time there. But I wonder, how do we build a resilient system that is the vision of a permanent system for us? How do we create a system where everybody's eating at the same table? Um, and there's, you know, we've got to solve housing challenges for people as well, which I believe are, again, housing is another solvable problem. Uh, and in America, we haven't done public housing very well. But if you look at what they've done in Vienna, Austria, for example, for public housing, uh, or I apologize, I can't remember if it's Singapore or South Korea, but the home ownership policies of the state in, in those places have made it so that home ownership is widespread in one of those. I, I apologize, I forget which one. Um, I'll, I'll put some links in the description. Like I said, really just trying to do an off the cuff video because I'm a perfectionist and I I try to plan everything and film it all and edit all of it and it takes so much time that as you see I haven't released a video on this channel in what a year um, I'd like to release content more often but anyway I should wrap up but the big things that are really on my mind are the Golden Temple and what would it look like to do that in a big city and I, I keep mentioning Oakland because it seems like um, that's really where a lot of action is going on. Um, people are really interested in doing that. I'd like to see that happen all over America and, and, and feed people. You know, we've got this attitude in America which, which is um, pushed by a lot of conservative people. And I don't have a particular problem with uh, people being conservative, uh, but I do have problems with specific ideologies of American uh, conservatism. 
And one of those is that, uh, well, you see, it's not just about working. We have working poor in America. We have people who are working 60 hours a week and they're still poor by our own standards. Um, and it's, it's, it's about how are we distributing the wealth that the workers are creating? Um, and, and, and there's people that can't work. There are people that um, ha have disabilities. I mean, the, 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 we've got a system that pretends that uh, every person is able, is fully able-bodied, whatever that would mean. Um, everybody is capable of working and they can all fend for themselves. And I, it's bullshit and it's upsetting. Um, I would happily use my privilege to provide for other people, and I'm trying to do that. Um, I, I hope long-term that our farming robot project can feed many people throughout the world. Um, and I, I hesitate a little bit to say that because we haven't done that yet. And I, I can't take credit for something I haven't done. So I, I need to, I mean, we've released the open source files for this robot, but it's not fed anyone yet, not even me. Um, and so it's a, it's a long-term project. But I'd like to build open source infrastructure. I'd like to build open source infrastructure. Just end that sentence. But um, I'd like to build infrastructure that feeds every person, that does not discriminate. And, uh, it, and th there are economics that can be arranged to make this work. Um, it's not just some naive, wishful thinking. Um, again, uh, you know, somebody told me this was impractical after I told them about the Golden Temple, and they looked it up. They, I mean, they, I sent them the link on Twitter, and they said, wow, that's fascinating. And then they said, but I think it's impractical. And it's like, no, it's, it's literally happening right now in India, which is, I think, the definition of practical. Um, and so the question is, how have we failed that we are not doing that? Um, and so I know there are people out there. And I, I think, um, I know there are people out there that want to do that too. I, I think um, part of what I can do is that I, I think there's a lot of people working in big tech right now that know it's bullshit. Uh, I worked at a big tech company and I saw that it was bullshit in a lot of ways, um, that all this flowery language about changing the world is used to cover up uh, wealth hoarding. <laughs> and that's really a major function of what these big companies are doing. Um, and I want equitable wealth distribution, I think. But, but the thing is that I'm not here to take wealth from somebody else. I want to organize with other people and we will create our own wealth. So I'm, I, I'm not, you know, a lot of people say, oh, the leftists want to take from other people. No. Um, I want us to create our own means of production. I want us to fabricate our own machines, which we can then use to produce what we need uh, and share it equitably. Um, and uh, sometimes government policy can be helpful there, but my general scheme is one that does not rely on the government. Um, I think that in a lot of cases, um, well, I mean, it's the U.S. government is not a friend of leftist ideology, um, and 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 I don't think that it necessarily needs to be. Um, mutual aid is about people helping people, and we uh, you can we we can organize without the state to do that. Um, so that's you know, like I said at the beginning of this, I I've. I'd like to put all this together into a concise script and explain it all in five minutes, and I've, I've not done so. And so I'm putting this out here today so that, so that I can say something. You know, I'm afraid I'm going to get hit by a truck or something, you know, some freak accident will happen, and that I won't have shared these messages. And I know that it would be more effective if I can put it into a concise script, and I aspire to do that someday. Um, and I, I hope that I have the time to do that in the future. But for now, um, that's what I've got to say. I, I'd like to, I would like my engineering time to be spent building systems which are, which are meant to create an equitable society. I'm totally tired, and, and I've stopped, 
uh, doing engineering for some megacorp which is going to uh, just it's, it's hard to describe but if you're not if your company isn't trying to build an equitable society for all people and not in some flowery language but like really then I don't want to do engineering for your company and I I don't want to buy from companies like that either I think that my ideology is like we have like I have labor power I have life energy and I put my life energy into my labor which uh, for now I it means that I receive a wage and then I use that wage which is like a distillation of my life energy and I purchase products I mean I'm giving that to somebody else and I think what we need to do is 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 create kind of a walled boundary where we see companies in or organizations inside of this boundary are on our team and we try to create a complete functioning economy that provides everything that we need uh, using certain principles that we agree with and we avoid giving our labor power and our, our earned money to companies or organizations that are not doing this. Um, so I think that uh, uh, separating out who we want to support and using our own labor power only supporting kind of the good organizations um, yeah that's that's a part of my thinking as well um, sorry all a bit scattered but I think that's all I've got to say for today and I might try to do this more often because it wasn't bad and uh, if maybe if I make some notes I can make it a little shorter all right thank you so much